Hey everybody, um, got kind of a quick impromptu server build. I didn't really expect I'd be doing this, but um, I saw a good deal on a case online. I had this motherboard sitting around, and I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing to prep it um, for installation and what I'm going to be using it for. So this video probably won't be as long as my other ones, but um, it's just going to be a quick rundown and uh, just show you what I do and what, what I prefer to do. and things like that. Um, so this is a Rosewill um, 15 bay and they're not hot swap. Uh, they're not hot swap bays but you know it'll it'll do the job. Um, it's got three 120 millimeter fans in the front, three 120 in a fan wall right about here and 280 in the rear. Um, and it comes with all those fans but I'm going to swap them out for arctic fans so I've got my 120 is sitting here for that and uh, got Arctic 20 CO plus sorry about that CO plus uh, coolers for uh, socket 2011 and this is the infamous at this point Intel S2600 CP motherboard and um, just need to put a power supply in. I haven't actually mounted this guy down yet, but what I did was line up all the standoffs, except for one, actually, I gotta move, gotta move one up here. This guy's sitting about here, and it needs to be about there. Um, so yeah, I just, I like to open up the case, strip out the parts that I don't want, and then obviously replace the fans and get the motherboard uh, standoffs situated. And then uh, I think I'll drop the power supply in before I mount the motherboard. Just it'll be a little bit easier to screw these in on the top. And then we'll do the wiring and stuff later. Um, to already took one drive cage out and I took the, the front fan out. As you can see, these have the fan still in. So I think what I'm going to do, since this is going to be a really low power server, uh, it's only got dual. E5-2603 for quad core 1.8 gigahertz no hyper threading <laughs> no turbo boost anything like that um, so very very low power stuff I'm gonna take the front fans out and populate with hard drives and then I'll just put the three in the middle and then two in the back that should be good at least for right now I can, I can always fill out these if I need to so Yep, not a lot of whole, whole lot to do. Um, just trying to see where I can wire these fan cables, and uh, yeah, that's about it for now. And uh, quick cut, and I'll show you when I make once I make some progress. All right, so I'm back with the server, and I made a few changes. Um, I was doing some thinking, and I think that overall for this box, I don't really need that dual socket board, um, so I'm just going to use an X8 SIL with an X3470, 8 gig of RAM, and I've got just a really simple video card in here. Um, some of the servers I, I run need a uh, D3D device, so I can't use like onboard video, and it's really like super annoying, but you gotta have one in there, so I just, I have an 8400GS, single slot, should work fine. Um, so yeah, I stripped up that dual socket board, now I've got a micro ATX board, Rearranged all of the standoffs, and um, yeah, so put the power supply in. Uh, I've got an Arctic uh, 12, it's just a regular Arctic 12 cooler, and uh, got. I'm sorry for the lighting; it's kind of kind of dark and stormy outside. Don't have a whole lot of lights in here right now, but I've got two 640 gig uh, Washington Digital Black hard drives in here. And although this looks like a three and a half inch drive, it's just a uh, SSD in a three and a half inch adapter. It's a 128 silicon power. So it shouldn't need much more than that. And I got the fans. I put two fans up here, and I actually wanted to show you why I don't like fans up here. Um, so I'm going to turn this guy on, and you'll notice the uh, power's already on. So I'll just press the power button.
they are extremely noisy and that is because the fan is right up against the grate and when you have uh, negative pressure like that right up against the, gr the grill it's going to cause a lot more noise than like these where the intake side is not blocked but the exhaust side is so yeah i get their different fans and they're going to sound differently but this is a 92 these are 80s now i'm going to take these two 120s and put them in the fan wall which kind of goes about here and i'll show you in a minute that they don't make nearly as much noise on the fan wall now unfortunately this is the fan wall it comes with so unfortunately the fan wall is still blocked but it's uh much less so so actually i might be able to you know what i might try to just mount these fans in reverse and we'll see what happens i'll see if the case allows that if, if it does then be even better so we'll go ahead and try that and uh, I have a funny thing to tell you at the end of the video about this motherboard and uh, I'll see if I can include some pictures too but um, stick around for that and I'll tell you that at the end and I'll see you after the cut all right so I got everything back together I actually managed to put the fan wall in backwards so the grill is on this side and the fans are on this side so we're gonna turn this guy on Let's see what the noise is like. Oh, button. That's much more tolerable. And then the fans will ramp, you know, they'll, they'll slow down, so. So yeah, that's way better. Um, just to avoid that, don't put anything in front of your fans. I mean, you can kind of see if I'll hear a little bit if I put my hand in front of it. That was me touching it, but anyway, I think I made my point. So, the funny story about this motherboard, and you can find pictures on the Discord. Um, we were moving things in the garage one day, kind of a day like today, and, and uh, I found this case. It's kind of hard to see. It's a Lee and Lee case. Got it brand new. It was like 25 bucks on sale. I got like three or four of these. And when I had a bunch of these X8 SIL motherboards, I put the combos into these cases, thinking I'll use the case for something down the road or I'll sell it. It'll be a nice like little server or NAS for someone if someone wants NAS. So I had a few of these left and we we're moving stuff in and out of the garage and I moved um, moved the Roadster from the from the right garage out and then one of these combos was sitting behind the Roadster and we haven't really moved the car since we moved in so it was just you know sitting back there I was like holy crap I didn't know I had this so brought it out took it outside and long story short we closed up the garage and everything and it sat outside and it was it was pretty late at night so it was like 11 30 that we finished up and it sat outside all night well we got over an inch of rain that night and the only thing that was in the case I mean, the case was in the in the cardboard box with the styrofoam and everything. So, of course, the, the cardboard box was completely ruined. Um, the whole case was wet. And water went all the way down through the front panel of the case, all the way through, through this motherboard, the heat sink and everything. And I was like, oh, man, this thing is ruined. But then I was like, you know what? It didn't, you know, it wasn't powered on the only battery or any electricity was just um the bios battery so i was like i'm just gonna let it sit so i let it sit for two weeks in the garage my garage is pretty warm especially in the summer um i have a miner in there and i've got the, the server rack in there so it, i just let it sit for two weeks so it's been sitting in there for two weeks and this is like today as of filming this video this is the first time i turned it on it turns on and posts and everything so it's fine um 
at least presumably it's fine. I'm sure I'll tell you if it's not or not. But um, yeah, if you go on the Discord in the, in the in the blog channel, it's I've got some pictures of this thing just absolutely drenched and covered in water. Uh, it's pretty nuts. So not everything is uh, you know it could have been worse, I guess. But uh, yeah, here we are. So this is just my quick video of the build with this case. Um, I'm probably going to do a separate video with a review of the case. This isn't something I would normally buy. I'd normally just go super micro everything and be done with it. But it was on sales. It, you know, it's, it kind of does what I need to. So I'll talk more about the case specifically later. I'm, I'm going to try to do some videos with uh, what I'm going to use this for in the future. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as much lately. Life's been kind of hectic. So... Um, if you like this video, throw a like on it. If not, throw a dislike, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.